Hey Tech, and we are going to be checking out Made in Uno. Very excited to be checking this out, seeing what they're doing. This is a new girl group formed with the former members of Kepler and Limelight. So that's exciting. They have finally, um, because I remember like the, um, Limelight's whole thing and being like, oh, they're gonna add members, redebut under like a different group. So, uh, but I love what Limelight gave us. Obviously, loved what Kepler's given us. So, it is a seven member girl group. We're gonna run through the members because it is a new girl group. Um, so, that's just what we do around here. We have Mashiro, we have Miyu, we have Sunhye, or not Sunhye, Suhye. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? Um, Yeso, we have Gaan. Uh, we have Serena, ooh, okay, um, who, she, she was on Produce 101 Japan, the girls, so she would have, that was Miai and stuff, so that's very interesting, so it's not only exclusively towards those other two groups, there's other members in there, um, and then we have Nagomi, um, who was also on Produce 101, the girls, so the two youngest members are there, I just, uh, 06 and 07. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. At least it's not a decade. Okay, it's close, but it's not there. Um, so I'm excited to be seeing what they're doing. We are familiar with um, five of them, and then two of the girlies are new to us. So it'll be exciting to see what they do, how they sort of repackage what do they do with just like the branding of it. Because we've seen what some of them can do in Limelight, we've seen what some of them can do in Kepler. So, what is the concept for this group? That's what I'm intrigued with, and intrigued with all of it all together. Um, everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, so, yes, you know what it let go. One, four, three. Uno. Okay. Okay, fun. Okay. Strong visuals, though, already, I will say. Oh, nice. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Maybe a little like a dreamy vibe. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. All the way to eight. Okay, girl. Okay. Crazy drop. I like this. Wow. Oh my word. The visuals are insane. Is that all like? Do they use AI or is this like all CGI? This is crazy. Like, look at the visuals are so insane. Like, are they even real? There may be like an AI-ness to it, because it's slightly, yeah. That AI and canyon-ness we're still in. But they've used it very well. Okay, choreography. Okay, cute. Okay, harmonies. Interesting, it says multiverse in the back, and there's like a very dreamy 
kind of concept fantasy. And the music video, I don't like. Oh, to be continued. Okay. All right, John Lee. Great stuff. I wonder if they were using like AI for some of the stuff because there's like a slight uncanniness to like the AI feel like imagery that we get um, that is still very present and um, you know it was a little trippy it was a little interesting you know um, so if they did I think they kind of used it in a really nice way um, to sort of really create these really beautiful images unless it was just like CGI that was kind of like made to look that way but it's always like the faces you know what I mean like I know we've all kind of seen the AI edited photos and stuff and you can always kind of tell what it is um there's just I don't know there's something about it um that like I don't know still hasn't been like worked out yet um in terms of that but yeah I mean I think it was used very well it was very interesting um and it created like I mean from the beginning there is already very like striking visuals cinematography wise um but it definitely really enhanced the sort of I guess fantasy aspect of it um in, in like a cool way it worked for the concept um and overall yeah I really enjoyed it I think the song is really great it's kind of that um, Grogu kind of pop dreamy sort of like K-pop and I think it was really good um, and I think yeah I mean it sounded great the drop was crazy it was fun I think concept wise they really did something great here I really liked um, and yeah I mean overall music video solid great visuals overall cinematography looked good very dreamy um, again I think it might have been like a combination also of, like CGI and AI um, just because like I don't know there was just like something about it um, but yeah, overall I thought it was great. Choreography like cute the moments that we did see from that, but alright, I see their constant little dreamy kind of like little fantasy um, little moment happening here, so it's cool. I'm sure they're sort of setting up some lore here. And again, it did say multiverse on it, so I don't know if that was just like the space that they were using or if there's just some sort of like multiversal kind of thing happening. They kind of were like leaning into that um, as well, I feel like with some of like the visuals, like when she's running to the card and there's like a shadow after her and then going out through the clock and then the little like portal thing um you know so there is probably some again lore here um that'll be very interesting to um see how they go and this is a to be continued so we are not done with this one per se uh, but overall i really enjoyed it it was really cool interesting concept great sound uh, music video really good looking overall um choreography looks solid didn't see too much of it but it looked good uh so yeah Really liked it. Go over your thoughts and comments on more talk about Maidens Uno. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or the description down below or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica. Currently playing uh, Spider-Man 2, so if you can join me over there for that, links in the description down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.